Welcome to Sheet Leveler, I'm Lee and it's my pleasure to help you get the most out of Excel. In our previous tutorials we covered how to create a line and a pie chart. Excel offers many different types of graphs and selecting the right one can help you present your data in an eye-catching and effective way. Graphs are an effective way to present your data visually. In this video tutorial you'll learn how to create a simple bar graph in Excel. Let's get started. Here's how to do it. In this tutorial, we'll look at a bar graph and how it can be used to display monthly sales data. We can view the monthly sales information in this table. To begin, we must identify the data we want to display in the graph. To insert a bar chart, go to the Insert tab and select the Chart section. From the list of chart types, select the Bar Graph option. Excel will automatically generate a chart based on the data entered in the spreadsheet and insert it into the worksheet. Let's investigate how we can make the chart better or tailor it to our preferences. It's easy to change the location of the chart on the spreadsheet. Press and hold the left mouse button in a blank space within the chart area. Then move the graph in any direction to place it where desired. To adjust the size of the chart, click into any corner of the chart area and drag in any direction until it is the desired size. You can find the circles at the corners of the chart to do this. Let's continue. The title of the graph is currently Chart Title. There is no restrictions on what you can name your bar graph. To edit the caption, simply click on it and enter your desired title. We still have more to do. The design and colour of the chart can be altered to suit your taste. To pick a different colour, click on the chart area navigate to the design tab and select the change colour option. Furthermore, the overall graph layout can be modified in a similar fashion. Go back to the design tab, locate the chart styles, click the drop down arrow and you'll be presented with a list of options. You can choose the style that best fits you. Lastly, before we conclude, here is one more thing. A graph in Excel is dynamic. Any changes made to the source table will be reflected in the graph automatically. To show this in action, we'll adjust the February sales figures from 56 to 82. The chart has been automatically updated to reflect this new value. If you found this video helpful, why not show your support by giving us a like and hitting that subscribe button and learn to excel like a boss. Don't forget to explore other video tutorials we have here at Sheet Leveler. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.